Now helping out some of the residents, the fire chief says the chimney will likely have to be torn down. Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Those thunderstorms over the weekend certainly were powerful in spots. We had hail reports, wind damage reports. Now back to clear skies and lower humidity in Newport. Nice view overlooking uh, the Newport Bridge this morning and in Providence. Blue skies there, just about 70. Winds have been a little on the breezy side this morning, sustained at around 10 miles per hour. And for this first day of the new month, always like to kind of look ahead at what the month brings. It's our warmest month of the year. It also ends up being one the driest months too. The average rainfall is 3.29 inches. That's tied with February. Average high hits a peak of 83 degrees, and then the average low climbs up to 65. Sultry summer days, you know, dog days of that 40 day period beginning July 3rd. So we're entering into that season. Enjoy the low humidity while we got it today. Here's a look at all the storm reports from over the weekend. These are hail reports, wind gust reports, wind damage reports scattered all over southern New England. Now as we widen out the view, dry conditions across our area and a storm free day on the way for today. Upper 60s to around 70 degrees right now. Now in Westerly, 71 in Boston, 66 in Springfield. One of the more noticeable differences is this number, the dew point, and it's running in the upper 50s for today, which is refreshing for a July morning. As far as the morning goes, we're on the way up with our temperatures up to 77 degrees by noon today and lower 80s away from the coast this afternoon. Our storm center that brought the storms, thunderstorms yesterday, continuing to move further away. And other than just some fair weather clouds, we're mostly sunny and dry dry this afternoon and this evening overnight tonight starting off with mostly clear skies, but an increase in cloud cover by the time we hit tomorrow morning. We'll see a little disturbance, some showers passing to the west of us. Our computer models are keeping that activity two hour west, so notice how those showers dry up. We'll get some extra clouds at times on Tuesday, but I'm still forecasting dry weather. As far as this afternoon goes, lower 80s at the coastline uh, in westerly 82, upper 70s, Narragansett and Newport. But then those temperatures will cool a few degrees once that sea breeze kicks in. Block Island makes it into the 70s, cooling into the upper 60s late day. Lower 80s in situate Johnston, West Warwick and East Providence in the 80s today. And we'll see upper 70s to low 80s across southeastern Massachusetts, New Bedford, close to that 80 degree mark. At the beach, 78. Sunny, dry, nice day to hit the sand. And in the bay, we've got uh, winds at about 5 to 10 knots. Visibility is unrestricted. Wave height stay at about a foot or less. And we had our high tide an hour ago. Low tide coming up at 1230 this afternoon. Every day this week, you can find fireworks if you're looking for them. Jamestown and Batak at the places to go tonight to see them. Mostly clear skies in Jamestown, and we're looking dry and pleasant at McCoy Stadium. In that seven day forecast, the temperatures will be warming as the week goes on, and it starts to turn muggy by the 4th of July. A hot, humid day expected, but dry conditions, mostly sunny at the parade. A little fog possible when you wake up Friday morning. Highs close to 90. Isolated thunderstorm Friday. Slightly better chance of a shower or thunderstorm with a cool front on Saturday.